Okay, okay, okay. The most poetic thing about being an educator is when the students will come and give me a hug. It, well, it saved me. My own sons saved my life more than they will ever know. Every day is a new day. Every day, every sunrise, you look at it like it's your last sunrise. because you just don't know when it will be your last one. And I, I understand that, you know, I've, I've, I've lost a lot of people suddenly, so life is a gift. For over 20 years, I don't think I've slept more than four hours. It's memories that wake you up at night. In cold sweats. It's memories. And if there are people who want to start a war, then these are people who never saw a war. You know, good two, three, four hours every night. It was tearing me apart. Oh, I was so tired and and I was going crazy and and then and, and I saw myself going down a path that would take me away from my sons. So I said, okay. There were times in my life where I was in a dark place and um, I didn't know if I was going to see the sun again. I thought maybe this was going to be my last day on Earth. During the darkest moment of my life, I, I saw a teacher do something amazing in the class in the middle of a battle. The teacher's giving a math class, and uh, when the battle starts, an old Afghan teacher stands up. And it's a classroom with no windows, half a roof, and bullet holes everywhere. And three meters out the window, people are shooting. And this teacher, when the battle starts and is milling the classroom, stands up calmly, claps his hands twice. All the students stood up, took their desks, put it on the side. And they get down their little bellies, kids from five to 12. And they continued the lesson. They are, there's screams outside and it's a life and these kids are in the lesson. And the teacher had their attention and the whole world did not exist. From that situation, I came to an understanding that what I want to be, I want to be a teacher. I realized that through education, we can change the world, not through guns. Babies are born with no hate. I don't think education to, should teach children to hate anybody. What does peace in the world mean to me? It means that my sons can grow old in a safe world. It means that my grandchildren can grow old in a safer world. Well, do I still have problems? Yes, I still have problems. Normally, you know, for physical in uh, injuries, it shouldn't be a problem, but, you know, getting that constant psychiatric help that you might need, uh, and, uh, or if, if you become an addict, uh, getting that recovery that you, you know, that all of that, it, it's still issues. 
but I've learned to deal with it. The problems I had with sleep and with pain, I see it as a symptoms of, of, of the experiences that I had. And so I learned to live with it. Still afraid if you weren't real, I'd make you up now. So that I could follow through, I know that your love is true and deep as the sea. But right now, everything you want is wrong and right now.